Yeah. 
Welcome back, I'm Sylvia Lopez, and I'm Lena Wynn. Animal Control Officers rescued more than a dozen horses today in Riverside County. Uh, they were found on a ranch in Marietta. KCAL 9 Inland Empire reporter Greg Mills talked with the owner who claims the animals are okay. Well, those hikers, Shane Bauer and Josh Vital, are enjoying their first full day of freedom in Oman. Meanwhile, neighbors in Fatal's hometown near Philadelphia are anxiously waiting for him to come home. KCAL 9's Manuel Gallegas spoke to some of them about the hikers' return. The people at T-Mobile are donating their time to help revitalize a Southern California elementary school. Some residents living along a busy stretch of Glendale Avenue attached mirrors to trees to help them get safely out of their driveways. But now the city of Glendale wants those mirrors to go. KCAL 9's Amy Johnson shows us uh, both sides of this battle. Today in Health Watch, a new study in the journal Neurology shows diabetics are at a higher risk of developing all types of dementia, including Alzheimer's disease. KCAL 9's Wendy Rigby says it's a wake-up call for patients and their doctors. Well, thanks for watching KCAL 9 News at 4. I'm Lena Wynn along with Sylvia Lopez. And remember, we are always on at KCAL9.com. Your next news just seconds away at 5 on CBS 2 with Pat Harvey and Paul Majors. Well, one thing is certain, once it hits the atmosphere 50 miles up, it will take only a few minutes before the surviving pieces hit the Earth. And today, the chances of anything hitting North America were just completely ruled out. And that's <laughs> going to do it for us here on KCAL 9 News at 9. There's more ahead. KCAL 9 News at 10 starts right now. Oh. <laughs> 
change for something. Then the first term was made the second yes, as considered on the electoral forces take the third that and so on. Yet in seven days in surveillance of them Changes the outward government it was in the power of the As Gavin Bill says, as the Pentagon has made clearly plans to push the IS military action. And as we trip on the main basic projects for us to say this is a human overflow, production of the seven percent of its collections, daily levels of the group, I'm a 
Tonight, the debate over marijuana has moved from allowing medical marijuana to legalizing pot. The California Medical Association, the state's largest doctor group, adopted a resolution calling for the legalization of marijuana, triggering a fierce debate. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with more on the first. All right. Thanks, Dave. President Obama is hitting the road and calling out Republicans for blocking his $447 billion jobs bill. The president is on a three-day bus tour of uh, two southern red states that went for him in 2008. Nora O'Donnell is covering the tour. The four-day-long Care Now LA Mobile Clinic will provide free dental, medical, and vision health services to the uninsured and underserved. The goal is to serve 1,200 people each day. KCAL 9's Cara Finstrom talked to some folks desperate for care. An uncommon name for a not so uncommon weather phenomenon, and it was caught on camera. It's called a haboob, and it's simply a large dust storm. Let's take a look. Solyndra is casting a dark cloud on efforts to promote an alternative industry in California. A program aimed at helping green companies create jobs is now on hold. KCAL 9's Ann Notarangelo reports that lawmakers want to know if the initiative is wasting taxpayer dollars. There's a battle now between New York and Texas, and it's over who actually should win the right to permanently dock the space shuttle Enterprise. A 56-year-old Canadian man will no doubt be putting his feet up for a few days, if not weeks. Yeah, he spent 11 years walking around the world. Thomas Berkeley shows us the end of his opportunity in the
Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Sharon Tay in for Sylvia Lopez. And I'm Lena Wynn. Explicit new details uh, have been revealed about the sex crimes case against Santa Ana Councilman Carlos Bustamante. He was arrested last night on several charges including stalking and false imprisonment. And we need to warn you that the details are graphic. Take out my well, it was a cool and cloudy a day along the coast for much of the day, but sunny and hot inland. So what about that 4th of July holiday? Well, here's meteorologist Rich Fields with a, your first look at the forecast, Rich. We'll talk to you later. Meanwhile, there's developing news in the Cudahy corruption scandal. Right now, angry residents are in a city council meeting demanding that the salaries of the mayor and another accused official be put on hold while they're being investigated. KCAL 9's part of Annie Griffiths charmed the world in one of the most beloved TV shows of all time. The 86-year-old actor died this morning in his North Carolina home. Now, according to CNN, Griffith has already been laid to rest. He was buried today, less than five hours after he died. CNN says, at the request of Griffith's family, he was immediately buried on Roanoke Island. A not guilty verdict today in the case of a jet blue pilot who had a midair meltdown. Well, get your red, white, and blue ready, because we're getting ready for a big Fourth of July fireworks celebration right here at our Studio City lot. And guess what? You're invited. Take out my sports. McCarty has a preview of tomorrow's festivities. Well, it's the fourth day of extreme heat for millions of people still left without electricity on the East Coast. At least 23 deaths are being blamed on the weather. KKLY's Danielle Nottingham shows us the frustrations as crews are struggling to restore power. You know, when the, when, when the East Coast says reads temperatures in the 90s, it feels more yeah. like hundred and something because of the humidity. It's so it gets so hot back east. So we're lucky here either way, whether it's hot or not, right, Rich? <laughs> Welcome back, I'm Lena Wynn. And I'm Sharon Tay. Sylvia Lopez is off today. LAPD Chief Charlie Beck is now responding to an Inspector General report on the increase in officer-involved shootings last year. The findings are raising questions about department policy, but KKL Mines Randy Patriot reports. The chief says the shootings were in fact justified. Prosecutors decided today they will not file criminal charges against former U.S. Commerce Secretary John Bryson. Bryson was involved in three accidents last month in Rosemead and Sydney. Today, thousands of California doctors filed a lawsuit against a major health insurance company for allegedly putting profits before patients. The suit against Aetna says unethical billing practices, including doctors charging more than $73,000 
for a procedure that would normally cost less than $8,000. Sure. And now to news overseas, fighting and violence continues in Syria today as the pressure mounts for the country's president to step down. And now a new report is claiming that the Syrian government is torturing its own people, backing up what the U.S. government has long believed. When Anderson Cooper went on the record to confirm that he's gay, there wasn't much reaction. So, is coming out now a non-issue? We'll take a look. Anderson Cooper is making news this week rather than reporting it. In an email released yesterday, the CNN host in 60 Minutes correspondent revealed that he is gay. Take how my John Blackstone reports. The real news may be how muted the reaction has been, unlike other announcements in the past. The U.S. women's gymnastics team heading to the Olympics is one of the strongest ever assembled. Kekel Mice Teresa Garcia shows us why they are heavily favored to win the team competition. Thank you. Newly released security video shows two men believed connected to the murder of a Sherman Oaks restaurant employee. Now that's Juan Fernandez has the video and a plea from one of the victim's five children. Well, we're continuing to watch that fire burning in Palmdale. You know, what occurs to me is that it doesn't feel like we're fire weather. Right, yes, right.
Yeah. Mm-hmm.